If you watched the previous video, you should have already installed all the necessary programs you need, or at least downloaded them. So what we're going to do today is we're going to walk through installing APT and initial use on that program, Stellarium CDC, and we're going to go over a few settings that you have to put into the ASCOM platform in order for it to work properly with your mount and your laptop to so that they communicate properly. So let's get started on that. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you've installed the ASCOM platform. You're going to want to pull up the toolbox, okay? You just type in toolbox in the search bar on your computer and it'll pull it up and you're going to want to go to driver setup this box will appear and there's some settings you're going to want to put here and i didn't know this at first but there's a nice little quick guide online just type in uh, eq ascom quick start guide and on page three here you go these are the settings you need to put in a thousand for the timeout retry two baud 9600 and then you click find and it'll search for you know it'll search for the an appropriate port to connect and that's it those are the only settings I had to uh, tweak or put any sort of information in in order to get my mount to work properly with the uh, laptop and be able to control it through that ASCOM platform so that's probably one of the easiest things in this whole setup process so but again it's one of those things if you don't have this information handy you're kind of fumbling through the dark trying to figure out what to do and uh, you may or may not come across this, so thought I'd mention this to make it a little bit easier for you guys just starting out needing to get everything set up and started. All right, so you've set, that's really it for the ASCOM platform. You've set that up. You want to install and set up CDC. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's install it. Just follow the setup wizard. And let it install in the default folder there. That's no problem. Create a desktop, desktop icon. And it's real quick to install, takes maybe a minute or two. Okay, it's finished installing. Now let's load it for the first time. Go ahead and click next. You need to set your location. The easiest thing to do here, instead of manually putting in all this info, just go down to the bottom here, internet localization. Boom, there it is. Country time zone. Now I'm right on the border, so it always puts me in Alabama, so I have to change this manually. But, so just do a quick check on that so you get the time zone correct. Okay, apply and okay. And that's really about it. So, how do you connect your telescope to CDC? Quite simply, you go to connect telescope. Now, I, I'm doing this on my desktop, so it is not gonna pull it up, but you would, all you would have to do here is hit connect, and it would automatically connect to the telescope and then hit hide, okay? Then you come in here and you put in the coordinates to whatever. Let's say you're looking for M81. Boom, pulls it up. You can zoom in, scroll in, and go to telescope again and slew, and it will slew to the target. Let me back up a couple of steps because you're actually, uh, before you would try and slew to the target, you would, want, you would have already uh, plate solved so that it goes accurately to the target you're seeking. Yeah, you, you don't have to whisper. I'm just going to have to edit this out. Yes, you're good. Thank you, honey. And scene. Okay. Okay, so, and that's that's it. I mean, that's the extent I use this. I put in the target, slew to it, check it, make sure it's, it's where it needs to be. But I actually find myself um, using APT and the plate solving more than this now. Stellarium, let's set that up. This is going to be very similar to CDC and getting it set up. Except, just click on through. You guys know this stuff. Just, yep, short, yep, that looks good. And let's let that install. All right, that's installed. Let's go ahead and launch it. Okay. So I actually have a whole other video on some of the best features to use with this program. 
to make it real easy for planning your astrophotography sessions. Um, everything looks like it's already automatically configured here. If not, it should, yeah, see, it's already used the internet localization to configure my location, GPS coordinates, and everything. If it doesn't do that for you, it will prompt you, just like with CDC, use the internet localization option, um, or you can put in the coordinates manly, manually. But this, I love Stellarium. I use this program all the time with planning sessions. Um, and as I mentioned, I have a video where I go over some of the, really all the main features that I use in this program that really help me with both planning sessions, framing up my target, when I should start imaging, when I should stop and so forth. But I mean, there's really, that's, that's really all there is to it with regard to getting it initially set up. So let's close that out. All right, APT. So you've, you've installed APT. You're loading it up for the first time. And to get this working, you simply just hit click connect. If you're using a DSLR, Canon or Nikon, click accordingly and it will connect to your camera. If you're using a monochrome CCD or CMOS camera, you can even put in the, the brand here. Uh, Zen WO, it's got a few in here, QSI, SBIG, Altair Astro, some of the more common ones. Go ahead and do that. Uh, color Fits Preview D Bayer, if you're using a one shot color camera. And you hit OK. Now, of course, I don't have this hooked up to my camera, so it's not going to do it, but it will. <laughs> That's all there is to that. Same with connecting telescopes, since you've already set up your ASCOM platform like we previously discussed in those settings you put in there when you hit connect telescope um, you'll hit EQ mod H you know when you do the initial setup here you will select EQ mod ASCOM HEQ56 if that's the type of mount you have uh, that's what I have and then hit OK telescope disconnected again this is I'm doing this just as a demo on my PC not actually hooked up to the telescope but once you've done that you hit collect uh, connect telescope and it connects no problems whatsoever. Now, you heard me talk about plate solving and I have a separate video where I go over in detail how to use the point craft option. And if you don't have the latest version of APT, if you're downloading this and you've, you've paid for it, um, you know, you paid the $20, you have access to the latest ASTAP astrometric stacking program this thing is awesome it makes the plate solving so much easier and it does much better with the blind solves so if you don't have the latest version go ahead and update get the latest version it is totally worth it just for this new plugin that they've included on it uh, it has made plate solving so much easier but anyway that other video i cover how to plate solve and get your target centered and synced with go to and once you've done that here, it also, um, you can come back here to CDC and sync that target as well once you've made those changes um, through APT. And that is really about it, guys, when it comes to getting this stuff initially connected um, so that you can connect your telescope to your laptop. You know, configurations are going to vary a bit depending, depending on your mount, but uh, assuming you've, you've gotten the proper cables, um, a big help to you is going to be a shoestring astronomy. Let's go ahead and load that website. Some of you with newer mounts, you may not need these cables, but I did. I mean, mine's not that old, but um, from what I understand, if you have an EQ6R Pro, they are now including a built a USB port onto the mount, which they did not when I purchased it. So shoestring astronomy store is where you can get the necessary cable if you have a mount like mine it's the EQ direct interface products and for me it is this one right here the USB 2 to EQ 5 it's the RJ 45 a pin so it's USB to RJ 45 and that goes directly into where the hand controller port would go so that you can connect your laptop directly to the mount and this is the way I recommend to do it if you're gonna if you do it via the hand control, you're not going to have full control. Um, there is a Bluetooth option, or there used to be anyway, but they discontinued that. But 
that's the one to go with. If you have an older mount that has the DB9 connection, then that's the cable you would get. But you're more than likely going to need this cable. And if you have a newer, the newest version of the EQ6 or HEQ5, I believe you can just use a USB. So guys, that's about it with regard to getting ASCOM, the ASCOM platform set up, putting in those settings so it works and communicates properly with your mount, um, getting CDC and Stellarium set up for initial use. Uh, and again, I have two videos already for APT and for Stellarium to help give you a more detailed overview on how to use those programs. Uh, on the next video, I plan on doing a more in-depth overview of PHD2, which is a very important guiding software program that you're going to need to do auto guiding. Um, and that one, there's a, there's a lot going on there. It's not hard, but there's a lot going on there. And I want to be able to pass on some wisdom on, on that particular program as well. So we'll cover that in the next video. I know for some of you this is going to be stuff that you're already familiar with, but I'm hoping to reach out also to people just getting into the hobby that may not know where to start. So if you felt like this helped you out, and, and is, my goal of course is to help start you out on the right foot, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos that, that will also be covering more tutorials, gear, and imaging sessions. Also, if you're interested in any of the gear that I use, I've put some links down in the description below um, where you can find some very useful astrophotography items to include mounts, scopes, accessories, filters, power supplies, you name it. Well, guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, got something out of it. And until next time, clear skies.